You've tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go, and I'm Renee Esquivel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I use the Apple Lightning to USB Type A adapter uh, to um, type on my iPhone using an external keyboard, a uh, USB keyboard. Uh, I'll admit freely off the bat that uh, a little portable Bluetooth keyboard would probably be handier, uh, but I already have a keyboard that I use in my line of work, and so I'm simply simply leveraging that existing equipment. I don't need to be adding any more uh, tools to carry around than what I already have. So I'm leveraging that, but let me get right into it so you can see how uh, I'm using this adapter. It's actually designed for attaching it to uh, digital cameras, but that's not why I'm using it. Okay, here's the box containing the Apple Lightning to USB type A adapter. It is, as you can see from the logo there, it's a genuine Apple part. There's the part number. It's $29.99 plus tax on Amazon and will probably be the same at Best Buy, Micro Center, any other place that carries it. I know that you can get knockoffs for a lot less, uh, about right around uh, a third of the price um now i'm using the cable for a specific purpose and um and i'm using it on my iphone 13 pro okay now what i'm finding out though is the more specialized the apple equipment gets um the more susceptible it is to damage from knockoffs so i uh, I, although there's a premium, I stay with Apple, and I recommend Apple. Now, here's the dongle itself. It's uh, really, a, we call it like a pigtail. Uh, obviously, Apple Lightning on one end and USB Type A on the other. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect it here. Okay. And I'm buying this for the specific purpose of using it here with my, with a keyboard, a wireless keyboard and mouse that I carry with me. And as I go about working as an uh, IT field engineer, there are regular occurrences where I need to be using a, um, Uh, a keyboard and mouse. So I, I've evolved into using this particular model here. It's the K400R. It's very simple. It gives me the keyboard, trackpad, all in one. I used to have a separate you know, keyboard and mouse combo, uh, but I just kept dropping the mouse. And so there was no easy way to store that in a protected case with the mouse just because of the girth of the mouse. So I just went with this and I'm quite happy with it. Of course, it's got a dongle. That's a USB type A adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that up. And uh, I've already turned it on. As you can see, I got the green. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna put in on the other end of this adapter. And I'm doing this so that I can um, uh, use the keyboard. Um, now, one thing I've noticed is it doesn't, the trackpad doesn't work with it. And that's not too bad, I, because I can always just use the touch screen. Um, the main thing is the keyboard. And, um, and you can see that's already working there. Um, I use Apple Pages for all my technical notes and I take notes on nearly every single job. Apple Pages is, I find it to be just as functional as Word, but much faster, lighter, and so I don't have to run a pig on my iPhone. A uh, pig of an app, uh, Apple Pages does everything I need and then I can export the file as PDF or Word. So it works just fine. So anytime I do a test message, 
I always type the same one. Let's see, this is for all the lonely people. Okay, and so you see. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Work-related messages. Okay, and so until set time, as Apple will extend the universal control that lets you share keyboard and mouse between a Mac and an iPad to include the iPhone, that would be glorious. That's what I want. I want to be able to get my uh, my iPad. I have the, um, well, I'm using the iPad to record this, but I have the magic keyboard uh, second generation for my iPad and I want it with and it's got a trackpad on it and I would love to just move that mouse cursor onto the iPhone type and then go back to my iPad back and forth as often as I need but until such time as they do that I'm going to need a separate keyboard for the iPhone because a lot of times I want to send texts or other messages I, I don't like tick, 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 using my thumbs I don't like swiping and uh, the voice to text works if there's not a lot of ambient noise if there is sometimes you can't get a single word in and so this way uh, uh this is how i can uh, be able to type on my apple iphone at this time okay there we go thank you okay so there you see it hopefully this is of use for you would, would the Apple would just extend universal control to the iPhone and let the iPhone and iPad share a common keyboard or or any of the, you know, the uh, Mac PCs uh, and iPads which already have that, but, you know, bring the iPhone into that same uh, uh, ecosystem. But in, until such time as they do that, this is what I'll be doing because I do have a need often to type on my iPhone um, and w efficiently. And okay, so I hope this helps. And uh, until the next video, bye bye.